Hello there and welcome to UANET Plus. We are here in the European Parliament in Strasbourg for the last plenary session before the summer break. You talking to me today will focus on the new arrival of a Spanish anti-austerity party called Podemos. It was built on the famous Indignate movement in Spain and I have the pleasure to welcome my guest who is a new member of the European United Left, Pablo Echenique Roba. Good morning. Hello. Nice Hola. to be here. Hola. Hola. Bienvenido. Hola. Are you surprised to be here? Uh, well, a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't be. I, I would be lying if I said that I'm not a bit surprised. But uh, at the end of the campaign, we already had some clues that maybe this was going to happen. Mm. Not at the beginning of the campaign, but at the end of it, uh, all the events that we did in the streets and uh, and everywhere uh, were carrying uh, um, thousands of people and uh, so we have we had a clue so let me remind just just because uh, to our public that you yeah. are one of the five new members elected in the european parliament of podemos yeah. and so the this party was pretty new i mean it's pretty new you were formed in last march mm -hmm. but it was from the indignate movement in spain a few years ago when spain started from suffering from the crisis and with mass unemployment so do you think now you are here like uh, you showing the voice of the southern countries in Europe in crisis? Yeah, uh, and, and, and also of the, of the uh, people in the north that is not living uh, completely well, uh, uh, a life with uh, their material needs uh, satisfied. Um, we believe that uh, the whole system is built uh, in order for uh, a very small uh, part of the population to benefit from the from the economic success uh, of Europe and uh, and th this this is especially uh, uh, serious in Spain and the south of Europe but within that uh, it happens everywhere so you're going to fight for this I mean uh, so anti austerity policies fight uh, and you want some radical change in the European Parliament so let me see so you promise that you want to increase the minimum wages get rid of tax havens abolish the European border control so do you think all of this is really realistic yeah that's a question that we get asked a lot uh, we think that it's only a matter of political will uh, we we think that when technocrats uh, argue that some measures are impossible, what they really mean is that they don't want to do them. Uh, they use technical arguments for uh, eliminating or for abolishing political debate, and uh, and uh, we we firmly believe that everything that we propose in the um, in, the, in our program is not only possible, but also positive for the general population. Maybe, maybe not for the elite that uh, repeat continuously that our program is utopic. Uh, for them, it's probably not very good. But for the general population, we think that it's possible and, and also good. Mm, because it's not going to be easy to push up your ideas uh, between all the conservatives in the parliament, all the German people here, so... Yeah, uh, we are also realistic and uh, we know that the majority, the composition of the European parliament is what it is. Uh, and uh, well, we, we saw that with the election of Mr. Schulz. Uh, we, will probably, we will probably see that again with uh, Mr. Juncker and, uh, and we know that uh, our, ide our ideas will not get the majority vote so uh, we come here to fight we come here to show that uh, politics can be done um, by normal people such as ourselves but we also know that our main battle is uh, at the moment in Spain mm -hmm. uh, trying to win the government there yeah Let's focus now on money. So you you will earn uh, six thousand euros, but mm -hmm. Podemos, the members of Podemos, decided to give a part to NGOs, mm -hmm. four thousand euros, mm -hmm. almost. And so, do you consider yourself as a communist? No, I'm not a communist. I think that uh, communism uh, uh, has uh, uh, clever ideas on it, as possibly any other. Um, ideological corpus 
but uh, uh, how you manage a country depends a lot on the on the year you live on and on which country is it so I, I don't think that there are um, uh, magical solutions I don't I don't think that there is only one way of doing capitalism or only one way of doing communism so I think that they are not very useful concepts. No, but staying at the same level of people and everything, giving a part of the salary, having not too much, that's a kind of communism thing. No, I, I would really live a, a life that is very similar to the life that I was living uh, some months ago. Uh, mm. I don't really see any, any communism there. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't feel the need to increase my living standards so um, I, I don't see how that that can be linked to any um, particular ideology and what do the MEPs think about uh, this thing this idea to give uh, a part of the salary did you have some reactions about other groups party uh, no not not officially but I assume that uh, most of them are not uh, comfortable with the with the decision. In fact, in, uh, in Spain, there is also, there is at the moment uh, undergoing some movement uh, among the, the social democrats uh, because they, they have realized that our way of, of doing things is powerful and uh, there is undergoing some recomposition. And maybe at some point they, they, they could accept some part of what we are proposing. And let's focus now on your, your party. So there, sometimes it's considered a too radical, too extreme Podemos. Mm -hmm. And do you consider like a really extreme and really extremist party, left extremists? Not at are? all. I think that uh, uh, the extremism is presently uh, in the institutions. I think that what is radical is to um, uh, still the democracy and, and sovereignty from, from the people. But and are you for Europe or against Europe? I am uh, for Europe. I think that Europe is um, a marvelous dream. And in fact, uh, the other day when the, when the parliament opened and the, the European anthem was uh, playing, I, I, feel, I felt uh, a strong emotion. But I think that uh, this Europe, the way that the institutions are built and constructed and designed today, is not serving the common good, and we have to change that. But uh, if, if we are to simplify uh, in a for or against uh, manner, I would say that I am for Europe. You're yeah. for, and you're for the single currency, the euro as well? You want to maintain the euro? Uh, it depends on what the euro does uh, to the people in my country. If, if we come to the analysis that uh, staying in the common currency will produce more hunger, more unemployment, and more misery in Spain, then uh, we will have to look at the option of maybe uh, leaving the, the European currency. Uh, for us, um, the first concern is the, will, the well-being of the population of our country. And that everything uh, is subsidiary on that. So uh, for us, the common currency is not an end on itself. If it serves the common good of our people, then we are happy with it. Yeah. If not, then we have to think about some other choice. So you don't share the ideas, I mean, in a left-wing uh, side uh, of it, the, the ideas of the, the conservatives group? Like the, the the European Conservative and Reformist group, no, no, you don't share in the other same line mm. on the left. You're not radical, as they are radical change. You want so you believe in Europe and you want. Yeah, we, we, I I feel a, a brotherhood with uh, the rest of the countries in Europe, and and I think that it's a good thing that uh, people can travel around Europe and that uh, there, there is an increasing feel an increasing feeling of of community in Europe. But, but uh, uh, economics is a different matter. Mm. It's not about feelings, it's not about brotherhood, it's not about a dream, it's about money. And, uh, and if the institutional design of the European Union is bringing misery upon 
millions of people in, in Spain and Greece, in Portugal and in Italy, uh, we have to think about a radical change. We cannot afford that millions of European citizens suffer from hunger, from lack of means to have a normal life. We, uh, for me, it's, it's a shame that in a, in a continent with so many resources, uh, so powerful economically, we are still leaving behind millions of people. Okay, so we will have to start, I mean, to, to end up now the program. But before we end it up, I just want to have uh, just one uh, reaction about the elections of Mr. Juncker as the mm. new European Commission's president. Mm. What do you think? Does it bother you? Does it, do you like the, Mr. Juncker? Uh, the other day he came to the, to the um, our political uh, group, the, the United Left, and uh, I, I've never... I never see. Uh, I've never seen him so close before, and uh, and no, I don't like him. Uh, I will vote a against him. Um, uh, he was the the president of one of the tax havens in the in the European Union, and uh, and I believe that he represents the economic elite and not the majority of the of the citizens of Europe. So uh, I will vote against his election. Thank you. Thank you, thank Mr. Rechelik, uh, for coming uh, with us. And thank you, all of you, for staying with us on Yohannet Plus. Bye.